Jennifer, you and Rob Mullen, a urologist, um, gave a course this morning at AUA, and you're a nurse specialist in women's health. Um, what is the most important message you think that you could give urologists from a women's health perspective? That a thorough urological evaluation needs to include an exam of the vulva and the pelvic floor. Do you find that urologists often do that? In some cases they do, but not in all cases. So it's an important thing to emphasize. It's very important to emphasize because they can pick up different conditions, such as vulvar dermatoses, vulvar vestibulitis, or provocal cause vulvodynia, and pelvic floor dysfunction. And I see patients often have these conditions. There's a high incidence of comorbidities associated with those conditions. How do you use either diazepam suppositories or uh, physical therapy in your practice? Our practice, we have a great multidisciplinary practice and we work very closely with physical therapists. About 90% of our patients actually are referred to physical therapy. We use diazepam compounded into a suppository and our patients either use them vaginally or rectally at bedtime to bring down the tone of their pelvic floor in combination with physical therapy. Thanks for telling us that that was in combination with physical therapy. I think that we're going to learn at this conference how important uh, physical therapy is for patients with pelvic floor dysfunction. I think that it's a key part of their treatment plan, both for um, patients with pelvic floor dysfunction and for vulvodynia. Thanks so much, Jennifer. By the way, I forgot to mention, you work with Dr. Whitmore in Philadelphia, correct? I do. I work in practice with Dr. Whitmore, um, Dr. Kellogg, and Amy Hoffman.